Hi, in this video I want to talk to you about what is the best free screenwriting software in my opinion and uh, this is without a doubt in my mind uh, a program called Trailby. I could be pronouncing it uh, incorrectly, it could be Trailby, but for the purpose of this video I'm just going to call it Trailby. So um, when you're first try, uh, starting trying to get into screenwriting, you are looking for a program to write on and uh, the paid software can be pretty expensive. The most, uh, probably the most famous software is Final Draft, which costs uh, I think about $250. Sometimes they discount it to $150, which is still a lot for something that you're just getting into at first as a hobby. So if you don't have that kind of money or you don't want to spend that kind of money, you'll be looking for uh, alternatives. Of course, if you have that kind of money, I guess it's best to buy that software. But in my case, I just uh, didn't have money to burn on something like this. So I was looking for free software and it can be a little tricky because there are a lot of people out there trying to take advantage of new writers who are just getting into it. And there's not really that much information and like I said there are a lot of people just trying to uh, take advantage of your dream you know and want to take your money some software is advertised as free when in fact uh, the free version is pretty useless without you upgrading to the uh, paid version so beware of that there's a couple out there who really push advertising their uh, programs as free but basically, like I said, useless without the full version. Also, for some reason, some of the paid software uh, offers um, works only with the internet connection or even in a browser, which is very weird for me, especially for new writers tend to be a little bit paranoid about that. And, uh, you know, some, some of it is, I guess, uh, justifiable up to a degree because you are trying to protect your screenplay and then it goes to a server or some kind of a cloud service. And it's advertised, of course, to keep a backup copy of your screenplay, but it's very easy to do that. You can just use a flash drive or upload it to Google Drive or something like this and have a spare copy of your screenplay. So it's kind of weird that they want you to have an internet connection and to keep your screenplay on a server or on a cloud. I don't know about that. So this program doesn't have anything like this. It doesn't require internet connection. You can just download it. I'll put a link in the description for the official website, I guess, where you can get it. And it's pretty easy to install. There's nothing difficult about it. Uh, and by the way, once you gain a little bit of experience, you will realize that nobody actually wants to read your screenplay. You have to work really hard to get a few people to do that. So nobody is really out there to steal your screenplay. So you should be, you know, kind of not worrying about that so much. But still, a screenplay in the process of writing is something that should be kept, you know, secret. And uh, it should be... Uh, considered something sensitive so just putting it out there on a cloud or on some server that you don't know how protected is that you can see in the past even apple could protect their servers so it's really you know a sensitive topic and i think it's best to write it offline and save it and back it up yourself on a flash drive or on some other way so let's uh, stop with that and ask uh, and uh, answer probably the main question that most of you uh, new writers are wondering is is this program going to format my screenplay correctly and the answer is yes now when you first start uh, and try to uh, get it out there the people who are going to read it they know that you are an amateur because they're going to look you up they're going to see on imdb pro that you have, don't have any credits for example and if you don't have any credits, that just means that you're an amateur who is trying to break in. And there is nothing wrong with that. It actually can lead to sometimes uh, the producers or an agent to compliment you and say that your script is formatted correctly. Because they know that you're an amateur and maybe uh, what you have written, it's a pass for them. They're not going to be interested in it. 
for whatever reason, but they can still say a few good words to you and tell you, for example, that your screenplay was uh, well written and uh, formatted correctly, which is something important for a program like that. What's the font? Is everything correctly formatted? So as far as my experience has been, uh, the program is doing a great job formatting the screenplay. Now there's a couple of disadvantages that this program has. One of those disadvantages is that the program lacks a lot of features that uh, the paid software has. One of those simple features is, for example, if you mm, uh, want to indicate that the two characters are speaking at the same time, uh, this program here doesn't have that option. You have to go around it by uh, maybe putting an action line and saying, you know, Peter and somebody else is speaking at the same time or simultaneously, something like that. And then maybe put an action line to indicate that they stop speaking at the same time. When in the paid software, you get uh, something that you can just select the, the text here and just uh, select it to be a dual dialogue and then it will appear next to each other. And of course that it indicates that they are talking at the same time. So uh, features like that are missing from this program, but it's not something that it's a deal breaker. You can go around them. All of the important stuff is here. So these are not things that uh, you know are going to hurt you very much in your writing. Another disadvantage of this program is the spell checker. I'm going to click here to uh, go at the start of the text and go and select the spell checker here. And this will immediately detect the word that it's uh, incorrectly spelled. Now notice here that it missed this mistake. This is because this program, uh, this spell checker does not uh, find mistakes in the context. So here this is obviously a mistake, but it's a correctly spelled word. So it's just not going to find it. It finds only words that are uh, clearly mistaken. There is no such word. Uh, or maybe sometimes I've noticed that uh, it, it uh, detects uh, words that are for mistaken, but in fact such word exists. So you can also add it to the dictionary here. So it's really in perfect spell checker. You need to run your screenplay once it's ready through another program that has a better spell checker. And maybe I'll talk in the future about that to share with you a program that does a great job at that. But this is a major disadvantage because you don't want again uh, to uh, have a producer or an agent be turned off by uh, a lot of mistakes in your screenplay. You don't want them to start reading and see this guy didn't even bother to run a spell check. And a lot of them talk about how many people actually don't bother to do that and are too quick to send their screenplays. So you have to first run it to a program to make sure to eliminate as much mistakes as you can. There's still going to be some mistakes there, but uh, you can try to get rid of as much as you can. One more very important question that most of uh, the new screenwriters have when it comes to a program is, is it going to export my screenplay correctly in a file type that is going to be uh, requested by agents and producers? And the answer is yes. Uh, they all will ask you for a PDF file type. And this program allows you to export your screenplay into that file type. It also has a bunch of useful tools like uh, different script reports that are going to show you uh, the number of your speaking characters, for example, the percentage of external and internal scenes and so on. So there are a lot of useful features here. I'm not going to, this video is really not about uh, reviewing or showing each of the features that this program has. It's really about sharing my thoughts on what is the best free screenwriting software and this is the one in my opinion if you are a new writer thinking about starting your first screenplay don't even think about it further just get this program of course if you have the money get the paid software but i have told myself that i'm going to do that only if i uh, sell something or maybe even then i'm going to keep this program as a superstition, maybe, you know, I sold my first screenplay, I wrote it in this program, so why not continue? I don't know. Hopefully I'll sell a screenplay. So far, I haven't been able to do that. So, I hope this video was useful. 
I'm probably going to make a few more about screenwriting. So if you want to subscribe and uh, check those out when they come. If you're new to my channel, make sure to visit it for more videos. Like this video if you liked it. That's it for this one. Bye for now.